I've been a fragrance lover for a long time. Fragrance takes you back to a, a certain time. I remember in college, I, my signature scent came out in 95, and I remember uh, this fragrance and Dolce and & Gabbana Pour Homme was two that I smelled, and I just, I had to have it. That fragrance is Burberry for men. Uh, some people call it Burberry Classic. This is everything you need to know and five pulse points. Welcome back to another review. Today we are reviewing one that is nostalgic for me. It takes me back to college. This was my signature scent in college. So with that, let's get into the review. Post point number one. Now this fragrance starts out with a very um, signature open. This, this fragrance has a signature open. You put 300 fragrances out and let me smell them. Uh, this is one I'll be able to pick out of the bunch without a doubt. It just has a very uh, unique start to it. I think it's a combination of lavender, uh, mint, I think, uh, two for two, <laughs> two notes, oddly enough that I'm not, uh, crazy about in fragrances, but it comes across really distinct and unique, um, in this particular fragrance. Post point number two, well, this, um, is basically classified as a woody aromatic. Um, but I think it moonlights as an oriental. There's something about it that comes across spicy, even though there's no spicy notes in it. And then there's vanilla in the base. So um, this, I think, started my love for uh, oriental fragrances. So if you like oriental fragrances, uh, even though this is not classified as one, uh, this may actually fit in your wheelhouse. Close point number three. This fragrance comes across a little bit dated. Um, now it hurts me to say that because I, it, this was one of my favorite fragrances and I actually don't wear it that much. And so when I pulled it back out for this review and I started sniffing it, I was like, wow, it does kind of smell dated. And when I say dated, I mean more so that I think it's suited for an older gentleman. It doesn't smell like what you find today. Like, uh, it doesn't smell metrosexual. It doesn't smell soft. It doesn't smell unisex. This is like classic manly um 90s scent which brings me to post point number four this is like pierce broslin and golden eye which oddly enough i played a lot in college too it just seems buttoned up tuxedo uh, a very formal type fragrance um I, I heard that comparison uh from another fragrance reviewer in the early days of his channel um, one of the guys on the channel uh, referred to it, it reminded him of James Bond. And I remember sitting there thinking like, he's exactly right. There's something about this that just comes across very buttoned up, uh, very clean cut and formal. And thus, uh, I'm not sure why I wore it in college because I wore it casual. Uh, so it didn't really suit uh, the college environment, but I didn't care at the time. I just liked the way it smelled. Post point number five is this is a bargain now. This bottle here cost me less than 20 bucks. I think you can get the large bottle for under 30 bucks. And so if you're seeing this like, like your TJ Maxx or your Ross, you're thinking, uh, what should I buy? There's a lot of crap on those shelves. Um, if you're trying to weed through and try to figure out what to buy, I think Burberry is a solid option. This is probably an old bottle. I don't know if it's been reformulated or not, but um, the smell is still good. I've never got anybody uh, wearing this say that it smells bad um the wife smelled this and said yeah it's okay 
uh, not my favorite i think is what she said but it's okay and that's and that's kind of the the sense that i, I would imagine you would get with that one is it's it's uh, it's okay it's not going to be ground shaking um again it's a fragrance from the mid 90s uh it kind of smells like a fragrance from the mid 90s it's definitely a throwback um but for under 30 bucks uh a very solid i think scent i've enjoyed wearing it just for this uh re-review i really like the dry down kind of ambery vanilla type i can see uh, my progression of liking this and then now moving on to orientals uh, i can see that progression so it's, it's kind of weird kind of looking back uh, on it if you're a young man or you're looking for something modern this is probably not it uh, if you're an older gentleman you're confident um, you work in a professional environment uh, you go to a lot of formal events um, this might be a good a good option for you let me know if you smell burberry let me know if you like burberry what you think about it and as always if you uh, find this content useful give me a um, thumbs up and a sub and i will see you guys in the next episode peace